When we see the A-list actors starring in their next epic drama or box office comedy, it's hard to imagine where they started out. This is my classroom. You don't like it, the door's to my left. But all these top-notch celebs had some pretty embarrassing debut roles to get their career out of the gates. Which film did Margot Robbie take the first step in? Watch this video to find out all the hilarious and traumatizing films these celebrities made a bang with. New to Screen Rant? Welcome! This is the place for all things on the silver screen. Hit the subscribe button below for more great videos like this and give us a like for all your A-list celebrities. Now on to some golden, embarrassing debut roles. Take that cash you put in that bag right there. You got an amazing story to tell your friends. If not, well, you got a tag on your toe. You decide. Brad Pitt, The Dark Side of the Sun. Ah, uh, nothing like being cast in your first lead role as a character named Rick who has a weird skin disorder. That's exactly what happened to Brad Pitt in The Dark Side of the Sun. The atrocious film features a young man who is in search of a cure for his rare skin disease, where along the way he finds true love. When we put it that way, it doesn't sound awful, but believe us, it is. Pitt dressed up in what looks to be a full black leather outfit to avoid the sun touching his skin, because if it did, he'd explode. Okay, well, not explode, but some serious itching would most likely go down. Pitt followed this film by playing the eye candy cowboy in the hit Thelma and Louise, which thankfully made his stint in D-list films done for good. You wanna come up for some tea or something? Margot Robbie, Vigilante. Margot Robbie shot to stardom when she was cast opposite Leonardo DiCaprio in Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street. But the actor had some credits in Australia before she made it big, including this 2008 gem called Vigilante. This was Robbie's first feature film, which no one ever saw, and thank goodness for that. She plays the fiance of the protagonist and had to act out some pretty gruesome scenes, ultimately resulting in her character's death and motivating the lead to seek revenge. Sounds like every other B-list film with men attacking one another. Do any come to your mind? List those bad boys in the comments down below. As for Margot, well, she did just fine with a long list of top-rated films to her name. She's never looked back. <laughs> Jim Carrey, Earth Girls Are Easy. Knowing the hilarious and face-pulling Jim Carrey, we're pretty sure he isn't embarrassed about anything. But this 1980s film, Earth Girls Are Easy, is so bad it's good. Starring Gina Davis and Jeff Goldblum, who may actually be blushing on behalf of Carrey. Director Julian Temple made this farce in 1988, which played off E.T. in Spaceballs. Rolling Stones had a review of the film using the words stale slapstick and unlikely love story. No matter what anyone says, this is a keeper in our books. Carrie is hardly recognizable as Whiplock in furry alien form, until he has changed into a dumb but handsome surfer. Gina's character desperately needs to find out how to get the UFO out of her empty pool and the alien back to where they belong. Oh, oh yeah, this one is for the books. This is Judy. I'm on the top of Beacon Hill. Anybody there? Nicole Kidman, BMX Bandits. Nicole Kidman is back and better than ever in 2018, with the series Big Little Lies getting her nominated for awards. She's proving her acting chops all over again. Before she even had to make a second comeback, Kidman had a pretty awesome role in a little movie called BMX Bandits. With a name like that, why haven't we seen it yet? Because she's been hiding it away in her home country of Australia. In 1983, Kidman played the role of Judy, where her character gets caught up in a bank robbery turned bad. Kidman's performance stood out from the rest, despite her hairstyle in the film. Oh, don't worry. It's all right. No wonder she went on to have the elite career that she does today. <laughs> Matt Damon, Mystic Pizza. Before Matt Damon took on the life-changing role of Jason Bourne, he played in Mystic Pizza, alongside Julia Roberts. This is by far not the worst movie ever made, but it sure is filled with 80s cheesiness and not always the good kind. This was his first feature film and he played the character of Steamer. He has a small role where you can catch his young face. He must have made a big impression as he continued to work after this first credit, finally winning an Oscar for his own film, which he starred in and co-wrote Good Will Hunting. We just love Matt Damon, don't you? Angelina Jolie, Cyborg 2, Glass Shadow. Born to a movie star family, this devious lady still made her own way. Her independent and fearless attitude landed her a first lead in the film Cyborg 2 Glass Shadow. 
The name isn't exactly a run to theaters title, and though it does say two, it has nothing to do with the first one, which we feel makes zero sense. Jolie has since continued to do great work both within the film industry and out of it, but she even admits that after seeing it the first time, she went home and got sick. So you could just write your own roles, you know, write something that's as interesting as you are, and you don't have to audition for this. Yeah. Uh, pishy cocker. Ryan Gosling, Frankenstein and Me. In 1996, Robert Tunnell made the film Frankenstein and Me and cast a young Ryan Gosling in the role of Kenny, another big name in the film, Burt Reynolds. Before Gosling was making fans drool all over the world, he was playing a schoolboy in Canadian direct-to-video movies. There's absolutely no reason you need to watch this film unless it's to prove yourself as Gosling's most devoted fan, which we think to sit through this will definitely prove. Gosling went on to be a household name after starring in Young Hercules in Then the Notebook. His career has continued to skyrocket, and we can't see what he's going to do next. Hi. Um, I'm Leslie Miller. I'm signing up because, uh, you know, I always watch the pageants on TV, and my boyfriend thinks I'll win. Amy Adams, Drop Dead Gorgeous. Amy Adams is one of Hollywood's most respected actors. With five Oscar nods under her belt, it's surprising that Adams ever had trouble booking work. Back in 1999, Adams booked her first role of Leslie Miller in Drop Dead Gorgeous, which wasn't a half bad movie, but did flop hard at first. When it debuted, it was hated by critics and audiences alike, but in the early 2010s, it started to make an unlikely comeback. The dialogue wasn't perfect, and the plot was even worse, centering around a beauty pageant that turns deadly. Its genre is a mix of comedy, drama, and thriller, which doesn't surprise us that it became a cult classic. Adams, she is a standout, even against Allison Janney and Alan Barkin. Don't drop dead from that comment, gorgeous. Hey, don't go down there, kid. There's all kinds of wild animals and shit. Leonardo DiCaprio, Critters 3. Our hearts will go on with Leo wherever he goes and whatever bad movies he's in. In 2015, Rolling Stone put out a list of Leo's films from worst to best. Topping that list is Leo's debut film, Critters 3. Yes, triquel, or trequel, or second sequel, if you will. Whatever you want to make of it, out of all his films, it ranks the worst. It's a low-budget sci-fi horror comedy that doesn't even pass the watch when bored test. The film is most famous for being Leo's debut. How ironic. As Rolling Stone puts it best, he seems to be the only cast member who can actually act. Amen to Leo. You love first. it when I have problems. You love it. You love it, Vaughn, because then you can be the good one. Jennifer Lawrence, Monk. Feels good when you'd book the title role of mascot in the series Monk. Yes, we're being sarcastic and for a good cause, because that is the first role Jennifer Lawrence booked. For a long time, J-Law kept this a secret until she brought it up on Conan, revealing the overtly embarrassing role. She told Conan that when she was cast, she misunderstood the role, thinking she had a major speaking part, but instead had to dance around with a cougar head on. She's certainly come a long way since her role on Monk. One example of many, in 2013, she won an Oscar for her portrayal of Tiffany in Silver Linings Playbook. From little seeds grow big, big trees. Sure seems no matter how embarrassing the films are, these actors still have the last laugh. All their success and accolades have garnered them praise worldwide. Are you heading off to watch any of these actors' first films? Which role did you think was the most shockingly embarrassing? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a subscribe and thanks for watching. See you next time.